Hi, Flosstube. This is Karen with KB Studio Creations. And Jason, up to shenaniganery again. <laughs> so, welcome back, and welcome to anyone new who might be watching. Uh, we appreciate your joining us, and we'll get to it. So, the first is my new release. I was hoping to have other releases ready, but they're not quite ready yet, so just one. Oh, right. They're ready. You just have to do the listing for it, right? Yeah, and get the it all put together. Yeah. Pick photos and stuff. And so, this release... This is my spring house. And it is on 32 count Swigert Vintage <clears throat> Blue Whispered Linen. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can like get... I feel like our shadows are bad today, but we're, we're, we are recording at night, which we usually don't do. Yeah. But, um, so it's got forsythia bushes oh, in the front, sorry. which make me think of spring. There are lots of forsythia bushes here in our area. We have two in our own yard. And springtime, yellow yes. everywhere. And then just like a spring tree and a purple house. And I don't know, just... It says spring to me. It's very Easter eggy. Like yeah. it feels very Easter. Oh, it's not it, the Easter house, but, no, it but feel it's got the Easter color palette. Yeah. So. So there's that one. And then this next one is a start and also a finish because it's just really small. So uh, it's from the Love Sweet Love pattern by Ingleside Imaginarium, but it's just the elephant from that. And I'll insert a picture of what that full pattern looks like. Trying not to cover up your face while you're talking. Um, and this is it. just on... <laughs> and I just cover up your whole face. <laughs> Some 18 count uh, Zweigert Vintage Country Mocha. And it's just using orts. Is there... Question. On oh. the pattern, is there a cross stitch for like... No. It's all one color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Because I just realized with how you stitch the orts, there's an eye on it. Like there's a dark patch... Where the eye is? No, there's an empty spot where the eye is. Okay, I'm looking here. Oh, like, you're already ne looking next to the eye. Yeah. But it looks like an eye to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I can't see holes apparently. So, I, I often switch on the artworks when I'm at my parents' house. And uh, I finished up the one that you'll see later. Um, and so is I it on the, No, it's not no, on that piece. So, you'll see it later. All right. Whips. Whips. So I don't think I did much on this one, but I did do a little bit, I think. So this is the change quote. It was my focus on in February, and I was trying to, like, finish up this section, but I didn't. <laughs> Which section were you trying right to Right here, where's this, a, where's this thread? Oh. So I don't... Um, <clears throat> I made very little progress, but... It's okay. That's all right. I think this doesn't have to go away for a while. And this is just on 14 cat white Ada. So this is going to go away for a while, I think. Um, like, I enjoy this pattern, but it's very repetitive, which can be good at times, but can also be boring. I don't know. I just, I get tired of it. So. Um, I also worked on, and I'll insert a picture of what this thing looks like, but it's Unicorn in Captivity by Wild Violet Cross Stitch. And I'm switching this on 16 count picture this plus Mystic Ada. So I didn't make a ton of progress, partly because stitching on this fabric is a little difficult. Even though it's Ada, it's still a little bit hard to stitch on um, with the dark fabric and the small holes. And then I made a mistake, and so then I had to rip that out, and then I was frustrated, and yeah. Also, I haven't. I, it appears I haven't pulled all the colors. Yeah, that's the back for it. Okay. Um, and so I'll be like, oh, I'll work on this color next. Oh, wait, I don't have it pulled yet. So I need to finish pulling the colors so I have all the colors so I can work on them when I want to. But I did make a little bit of progress, so that's good. Um, and then, as always, Celtic Summer by Lavender and Lace. Um, and this is on a mystery linen. And I'm just working more on the golden skirt. So it's coming along. I've been thinking about it, and I think I might be able to get all the stitching done by the end of May. That's what I'm thinking. And then maybe this summer, I can feed it. But we'll see. And as always, I'll do this, like, zoom in part. But yeah, I work on this every Wednesday. Three strands, approximately. Sometimes more. Sometimes a little less. But around three strands. So, making progress. It's my eldest whip. So, Yeah. So this next one, I'm happy about. Oh yeah. She's super happy about this one. So this is the Heaven Earth Design, the Hade. Um, it's what? A stitching, a stitching Shelf Mini by Amy Stewart. 
And this is on 25 count, easy count, 20, 25 count, easy count, one over one. And so I reached the far end here. Well, except minus one stick square, which is hard to see because it's the light thing. But then I worked so my way. In. But so. then I worked my way to the top. <clears throat> so that's the top corner. This is the far. So I kind of have an idea of how big it is now. So because each one is a season, I found I usually only wanted to work on this when it was winter, partially also because I was using white. But I figure I can work on them during their season. So now that we're in spring, I'll focus on spring. And then when summer comes, I'll focus on summer. So I still don't know how much progress I'll make on it because it's, it's a, lot, a lot. But I've been in the mood to work on it lately and I made some progress. So that's good. And then my last whip is my tracker bookshelf, which is my design. And which if you want the pattern at this point, you can get it for free just by emailing me and, or messaging me or something, letting me know you want it. Um, but so I'm just tracking the genres uh, of what I've read that day. So I'm having fun with it. I'm really enjoying tracking it this way. Um, I have hanging threads for... I've never seen you do hanging threads before. So yeah, so I'm doing my own little parking method because, you know, each day, well not each day, but, you know, I, I don't want to stop and end all these threads, so I just park it wherever I feel like parking it at the moment so that I can use it the next time I'm going to need that color. All right, it's Jason's whips now. What? I continued working on this for a little bit. I've put it down because I made a mistake and I can't figure it out. Oh. It's frustrating me. Because <clears throat> it counts right, but it counts wrong at the same time. So I finished the two trees. Did you show the, sh the sh Yeah, I showed okay. it. Um, I finished these two trees. This tree is off over on this side. I don't know how. But it's where I started stitching it. Oh, no. So in order to Can fix it, I'll have to. Un I'll probably have to. But I'm intimidated by this now because I have to. I'm going to have to fudge it somehow. Because mm. it's. I'm going to have to fudge a lot. I like it's going to work out. But I was frustrated because I had to fudge something. A really small thing on Erebor. It looks fine. But. I was really excited because this one, I was like, no, I'm going to do it right. <laughs> and then I messed something up. And by the time I realized it, I'd finished the entire tree. And I was like, no, I'm not frogging <laughs> the whole thing. So, and what makes it worse is it happened on a day when, so I typically work on this uh, on Sundays at church while I'm taking care of uh, streaming the church service from the library in our uh, building. And so... I was working on it one day and a lady from another congregation came in and she made the snide remark because this is how she works. I've worked with her before and she makes the, the snide remarks where she'll make a remark about herself, but it's obvious that she's judging you. I feel like it's a very church lady thing to do. <laughs> that's, I do. That's horrible. Uh, but she made the remark. She's like, oh, my mom used to do a lot of sewing. And I was like, oh, neat. Where is that coming from? And then she said, yeah, my mom made a rule not to sew on Sunday because her thought was every time you sewed a stitch, you would have to undo it in heaven. And I'm like, wow, that's... <laughs> tell me you don't approve of what I'm doing without telling me you don't approve of what I do, I'm do. i doing. But I'm very much of the opinion of Sunday is the day that I do stitch because it is relaxing and I can focus and... I don't know. It's just, it's turned into a Sunday activity and I like it. So anyway. It's an everyday activity for me. I think <laughs> that all, her saying that the same day that it happened, um, kind of, it was just. Mm. Kills your momentum. Yeah. But he has been working on the mo one of the model stitches he's working off me instead. Yes. So I switched to that one so I could work on that one, which I then made a mistake <laughs> next Sunday on that. <laughs> but I caught it and was able to undo it. That's good. So the next is a finish. Nice finish. So it's the Italian SSC bell pull. And I've been working on this top part. So I finished. I don't love it, but it's good enough. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This one I love better. Where I did three of the other blocks. Okay, that makes me feel better about it then. Because if you don't love this one, but you do love these, that makes me feel better that you didn't stitch it with them. Yeah, and this is on... 
what is it on? 18, 18 count Zweigart Vintage Country Mocha Ada. Yeah. So this one, I definitely want to finish some way to hang the house. This one might just end up in my cross stitch journal or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do this. What if we finish the same way we finished that? The Please. strawberries. Like, there's the strawberry banana or strawberry lemon right. thing. Like, we can't do it the exact same way, but a similar way to that. Yeah, we could try that. That might work. Yeah, but I, I like this Let me one. see. The other one. It's okay. Yeah, I, I think it worked because that one, how it's finished is it has the ribbons on the side and there's nothing on the sides of this. So I think that might work. We'll see. I have a lot of fully finishing backlog and it's hard for me to fully finish because of my body hurting and stuff. So we'll see when I get some of these things fully finished. Yeah. But I did get something fully finished. It's made me very happy. So Royal Tannenbaum is fully finished and I love it. So I got this frame. There's a lady at um, church, friend, family. I don't know. She's the grandmother of some of my friends, but she's also from church. And she's just, she picks up frames at like yard sales or Goodwill if she sees them. And then she gives them to my mom and then I can have some if I want. And this one was perfect. And it's it was interesting because uh, this is the actual size of the frame. So I just glued this on top. But it works. Because it was the perfect frame for it. And it fits really, really well. So this is just a metal kit that I did, and I love it. And we have it out still. It's not Christmas time, but, you know. Well, you need to enjoy it after yes. you fit it, fully finish it. Plus, when we do get our Christmas tree up, which we haven't gotten up for the past couple of years, we have to not get it taken down until March or June or, you know, whenever. So I got all the Christmas stuff put away this week, though. You did. It's all gone. We got it out, but then didn't get it put up this year. Yeah, it's okay. It's how life happens right We weren't going to be home anyway. So. so design and shop, like I said, I have these other patterns that are almost ready to release. Hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll get it done, but I just, work's been stressful. It's for really. upcoming holidays if you want a little <laughs> tidbit on like what it might be. <laughs> so think of holidays coming up. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to get those Holiday released. holidays? Kind of. I don't know if I'd classify them as like holiday full-fledged holidays. Yeah. Not, not as a whole holiday. They're like cultural fun days. <laughs> <clears throat> um... And I've been doing a little bit of designing, um, which actually we're going to be inserting the haul video because I got an order from Wichelt's and so I could do some designing, which I did start working on the designing, but then I got overwhelmed and I haven't gone back to it. I'm excited for it. She won't do what I told her to do. I can't remember what you told me to do, so I don't know. We'll see. But I think it'd look cool that way. I kind of, I want her to design it so I can stitch it the way I want to stitch it <laughs> and just like, I don't know. I'm being yeah. salty about it, and I like it. I don't even know what he's referring to, per se, so it's all good. Um, so, so we'll insert so, the... Yeah. yeah, we'll insert it now. So, and now for your intermission. <laughs> yeah, it's not an intermission. I don't know. We can call it that. Okay. Bye! <laughs> so I got an order of supplies from Wichelt, um, because I'm starting to design a new series and I needed some supplies to use as options or ideas or whatever. So first up we have perforated paper. So I now have all the colors that they have. Um, so those there's two of each color, so we don't need Oh, okay. Them. So we've got white, we've got, and I put these little stickers on the back so I know which colors they are. The last one was cantaloupe, terracotta, Misty lime. It doesn't look as misty. It, it looked more li more lime in person than it is showing on the camera. This one is buttercream and peach sorbet. Um, peach sherbet. S o r b e t sorbet, right? That's Isn't how you that sherbet? It? Sherbet is spelled differently. I don't know. They're all spelled funky to me. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing she got were some frames. So. One of them's black and one of them's dark blue. I think that's the dark blue one. Yeah, this one's the dark blue. And then there's also taupe. And then the black one. <laughs> <Yee>. <laughs> and then I got a lot of beads. Part of me wants to be like, woo, but that's too much. So, okay. Most of them are seed beads. I don't know where the bigger ones went. I'll just let you pull them out. I'll talk about the bigger ones when we get them. And some of these, you know, like I see the pictures online and then I see them in person and I'm like, that looks like a very different color, which is why I need them in person to make the decision if they're the right beads for the pattern. 
Am I going too slow? No. Okay. So this is one of the bigger ones. Um, so most of these are size 11 seed beads. Like this one? Yeah. But um, Helen D was talking about some bigger seed beads, bigger beads. And which these she, are smaller ones. She did a like a beading tutorial, which I'll link um, below. Um, just like some tips and tricks. And so as she was saying that, I was thinking some of the bigger beads might work for a part of mine. So I got some bigger size beads, but I wasn't sure which size because I didn't know how big the different sizes were. So I got three different sizes, uh, I think. Yeah. Also, I apologize because the, the color is not at all. Like you, some of these you can't even see. And then these ones the are sheen. actually smaller ones. So I also wanted to see how big the small ones, you know, fit on the fabric or the perforated paper. But lots of pretty colors. Lots of decisions where we are recording this insert so that I can start using them to design. Um, and I don't have to worry about getting them mixed up with the ones that I have already shown. That's interesting. That one's not as sparkly as some of the others. Yeah, some are more sparkly than others and some are less sparkly. But lots of lots of designing to do. So should be fun. And we'll go back. And now video. back to your regularly scheduled programming. Because that's about all I do in these inserts. <laughs> So, uh, giveaway. Welcome back. Welcome. We're glad to have you. <laughs> I'm, I'm being silly tonight. I apologize. It's been a long day. Um, oh, so my giveaway was for the dyed fabric. So, three pieces. And uh, D-N, D-I-N, you won. You won past ones. But I did have a question for you. So I haven't gotten my surgery out yet, but I need to. So do you want these surged? Because if so, that might motivate me to, you know, get let the edges Let us know surged. if you want them surged. We will, we have, she will be, let her know if <laughs> she needs to surge it for you. She would be happy to. We'd give her a reason to pull it out. So don't feel ashamed if you would like it surged before she sent it. Yeah. Like, let her know. And thank you everyone who watches and who enters my giveaways. It makes me feel good. And I was noticing, like, I noticed, and everyone who entered was international. Um, I know a lot of giveaways are like, we don't do internationally, but I don't know. I feel like everyone should have a chance. And yeah, so even if you're international, you have a chance on my Wait, channel. wait, hold on. Everybody who entered the last giveaway was international? Mm hmm everyone So none of the domestic people who normally... Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I'm not usually... I, have... I didn't even think... That's crazy to me to think that there are people internationally that know you. Well, I mean, three of them are from Canada, but still. That's still international. <laughs> it is international. But yeah, so thank you all for entering and for watching, and... We appreciate every one of you, domestic or international. Yes. <laughs> I was just shocked, because I only, like... I mean, people commented that weren't international, but yeah. the ones who were entered for the giveaway. So. But I appreciate... It makes me feel good. Like, I feel bad when I have a giveaway and one wants it, so it makes me happy. When for the want. record, I will also state, Karen does look at all your comments. Yeah. She does. She I views... mean, I, I heart them all. Yeah. But she does... There are times where she comes and she's like, oh, so-and-so said this. And it's like, I don't know these people. But Karen Karen knows you well. Yes. So thank you, everybody. Um, life life updates. updates. Yeah, work's still busy. I'm still covering for my coworker who's been out sick. Um, and we just keep having issues that aren't resolved and continue not resolved. And more issues pop up. And I'm surviving. Uh, Same. Yeah. It works the same for me. So It is the spring break for the school Jason's working at, so he hasn't worked most this week, which has been nice for him. I have I have too worked a lot this week. At home, but not like your day. Like, you help clean, which yes. is great. Our house is much cleaner, which I appreciate. I still have a lot more that I need to do tomorrow, though. But they're taking the spring break to uh, strip and re-wax the floors at work. So... Kind of can't go in anyway. <laughs> so it's been nice to be able to uh, clock out of work and just focus on things around the house. So that's been fun. Yep. And we got a little bit of snow. <laughs> I know some places in the country are like, we've gotten so much snow, we're just tired of it, where we've gotten almost none. <laughs> it was, okay, it is mid-late March. It's 80 today. It got up to 80. No, <laughs> hold that off. If it's 80 now, I fear what it'll be like in July and August. 
My dad's very much like, give me the warm weather. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> You're sending bad mojo out into the world. I want winter to be winter so summer isn't like the sun. Yeah. It's not called sunner. It's called <laughs> summer. It's a difference. So, sorry. That was my rant. Um, and then because it was spring break, we had a couple game nights this week with friends and family. Oh, that's right. We had two game nights. And then we also, yeah. We had game night on Monday with your family and then game night on Tuesday with Wednesday, some friends. Yesterday. Wednesday, yeah. With some friends. Yeah. So that was nice. So that was fun to have game nights and we've done, played some games with each other as well. Um, if my back didn't hurt so much, we would do it even more, but at least we can do some. And we're having Playing a game now. <laughs> Playing game. <laughs> But, yeah. Oh, did you try to come back and poke me? No, I don't know. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, you were just swatting me away. Yeah. Okay. But it's okay. Life's good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading good books. Life's okay. Life's good. Life is okay. We're doing good. <laughs> there are good things happening. Yes. Uh, what were they? Because I made an effort last week to memorize all the good stuff that happened in the week. <laughs> Karen got a lot of photos taken yes. to fully finish some thing or to get, the patterns, ready get to patterns ready to release. Um, what were what were the good things? Oh, I've been able to make some headway on figuring out some things with databases at work. Uh, there was more. <laughs> there was more. Like last week, so a few weeks ago, I realized how negative we were talking about life, and I made a big effort to try to like focus on positively figuring out what happens mm. throughout the week. So when we got to the end of the week, we didn't just have a big negative dump mm -hmm. with people we hung out with. So I'm trying to think more positively. Yes. So things are going good. We both have jobs. A book I'm really looking forward to is coming out tomorrow. Which so is I, great. I'm going to, I worked extra today so I can clock out a little bit early tomorrow to just like. Shout out the book. What book are you reading? So I can't remember the title of it. Uh, <laughs> it's Cam Shea's newest book um, in her Magic Force series. Um, she has. So she has a bunch of different books, but these ones are trilogies of, uh, I can't think of the genre right now. I know what color it is on my bookshelf. It's dark blue. Uh, Folk tale? No, it's it's modern, but it's like fantasy, urban fantasy. That's urban the fantasy. Um, and so there's trilogies, but there's like, they're all, they're following different characters. So each trilogy follows a different character. So this is the fourth of the trilogies and so. there'll be more trilogies to come, but I'm really excited. The last book in this fourth trilogy comes out tomorrow and I'm really excited to read it. Have you read the first two? Cause you were re rereading them or reading them for the, first, the first time. time. So she releases them, usually releases them one a month, um, December, January, and February, but she's had some health problems. So this year it was January, uh, December, January, and then March. But, um, I like to read them all close together rather than as they're released because I, I enjoy them better. She yeah. hates cliffhangers. She <laughs> hates them. I don't like when we were doing the Marvel run a while ago, oh. it was very funny because like we would end a movie and then she'd be like, "Oh, I'm too. I can't watch another movie right now." But I, I hate that it ended on a cliffhanger, and so yeah, <clears throat> it's cute. I like it. But yeah, so I'm excited for that. I read the the first two books in the series last week. I was gonna read them this week, but I needed them last week. So. Life happened. Yeah, life was rough. I needed them. But yeah. I think we've done a lot of life updates. <laughs> life is okay. We're doing okay. I want to reassure everybody. We're doing And I okay. got this released. Yay! Yay! So. so, how many more houses do you have? Uh, I still haven't. I have two, a summer house and a beach house I want to design that I have not designed yet. You started designing both of them though, right? Nope. I thought you had a summer house and a beach house in mind though. I have them in mind, but I have not started designing them. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. But, um, I'll get to it will eventually. that will those two wrap up the series? Probably. I don't have any. I I've played with some other ideas, but I don't really like those ideas. So probably. Also, I'm like I love stitching the houses, but I'm also a little tired of stitching the houses. So, I mean, the, this will be the end of the houses for a while. At the least. houses won't happen this year. I'm yeah. too worn out to design most of the time. But maybe next year. I still think you should go with my idea for the one you're currently designing. I'm just saying. Well, we're going to have to talk about it afterwards. I don't know what your <laughs> idea is. <laughs> so we will go so we can discuss that and you can have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you as always. We hope that you have a wonderful time with whatever's going on in your life. And until we see you again, happy, happy stitching. stitching. Bye. Now. We'll make it work now. <laughs> Hi, Flossie. <laughs> oh.